Hello and welcome. In this lecture, let's talk about some file operations and let's get started by reading the contents of a file. What I've done is I've downloaded a sample file from internet which is located under the downloads folder for my user here and I've also uploaded the same file as a resource on this lecture so you guys can download this as well and we can all practice together. So let's get started. Once you've downloaded the file, open up the terminal and make sure you're at the tilde prompt and type in cd space tow and hit tab. That will take you to your downloads folder. If you're not at the tilde prompt, then you can hit cd again and then type the absolute path for your folder. So for me, the absolute path is cd space home space slash labit slash downloads or you can do like this cd space tilde space downloads and this tilde represents the home directory for your user so it represents home slash labit once in the downloads directory you can hit ls and you can see the file. Now you can type in head space the file name to view the initial 10 lines of the file. So this head space file name will display the first 10 lines of the file. You can see the options available under head command by typing in head space minus minus help. And this will open up the help page for us. So. By default, it prints the first 10 lines of each file and various options available for this command are minus C bytes, minus N or the number of lines, minus Q quite, which means silent never print header giving file names, minus V is verbose and minus Z is zero terminated. So let's try minus N. So what we can do here is we can type in head space minus 20 and then the file name and this will display the first 20 lines of the file now the opposite of head is tail and tail displays the last 10 lines of the file by default so these are the last 10 lines of the file again like the previous command we can type in tail minus minus help and this will give us the options for tail. Now an option I want to talk about is minus F or follow. It outputs the appended data as the file grows. So this is very handy when you are working with log files. Log files are files that are generated by system processes or applications and they tell you what's going on in that process or an application. So let's say you've, you're, you've, you're working as a Linux administrator and you know some application is not working and you want to find out why you'll go in and start reading log file but you might only be interested in the data that's coming in at that point in time and you can do that by typing in tail minus f and then file name and you'll get the data as it comes into the log file so let's simulate that let's get back to our prompt typing in tail minus f and then sample dot text you can see we have the last 10 lines of the file and our prompt is waiting for data to appear on this file. So what we can do is we can open up a second terminal window and from this window what we can do is we can go into downloads and use the VI editor which is the default editor application available for us in Linux. and hit enter so I'm at the last line on the VI editor so what I can do is I can hit I here and this will take me into the insert mode which means now I can edit this file I'll put it a couple of spaces uh, new lines and then I'll type in this is a sample 
defined to demonstrate tail minus f feature and once I've typed my line in I can hit escape and then colon and once I'm at the colon prompt which is this one I can type in W which means write this file Q and then exit and exclamation mark so again escape colon W Q exclamation mark and this will modify the file and exit out of the editor and as soon as I've done that you can see that on this terminal window I can see my modified line as it was appended to this file now let's get out of this by typing in control C next command you can use is more which displays the file one page at a time so you can type in more sample.txt and this will display the file one page at a time we can go down by typing in spacebar but let's exit out of this first and type in more space minus minus help now we can see the help page for more file and we can see the various options available for us so like minus F will give you count logical rather than screen lines minus L will suppress pause and minus will number the lines per screen full and plus will display file beginning from line number now an alternative to more is less command and less command allows for backward navigation so more did not have a backward navigation you could only go forward less allows you to go forward and backward both and it allows you to also have single line navigation so let's do that so less space sample.txt now we can hit the space bar to go forward and we can hit control B to go backward sorry capital B to go back one page and you can use the arrow keys for forward and backward navigation as well so let's go down a few pages and now let's go back up using the capital B and then go up or down using the line navigation now we can get out of this by typing in Q now to get help on the less command we can also type in less minus minus help and it gives us the keys available for us to utilize during the less command so so caret b capital b will allow you to move backward one window one window or n lines space will move forward one window but it doesn't stop at end of file capital D will go forward half a window and you will go backward half a window so let's get out of this now to display all the contents of a file you can utilize cat command and this information will scroll on the screen if it does not fit your screen so if I type in cat space sample.txt it will display all the available data on this file on my screen you can also create files using cat to create files using cat all you've got to do is this cat and then this sign and then a file name so let's create a file named sample onetxt and hit enter and now we can type in some data so this is a sample file to demonstrate creation 
of files using cat command and then we can do control D to write this and get out of it now to view this file just do that again and we can view the output of this file as well now to get help on cat command all you've got to do is cat minus minus help and you can see the help page so cat actually means concatenate files to standard output and the various options are capital A to show all minus B number non blank minus N will show file the lines of in a file with a number against them so if we do cat minus n sample dot txt we'll see that each line will have a line number against it now we can also do cat file name and the new file name and we can see that this will concatenate the contents of these two files so what we'll do is cat sample.txt sample1.txt and hit enter and you can see it concatenated the contents of that file sample.txt with the contents of sample1.txt so this and above was part of sample.txt and this was the line we added in sample1.txt this brings us to the end of this lecture. I hope you liked it and I will see you in the next lecture. Bye.